Steak, T-bone, ribeye, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, double cheeseburgers, Big Macs, 3x3s, three 4x4s, three, four four Angus Quarter Pounders. If you watch any TV these days, you are bound to see advertisements for these and more. Check online, however, and you'll find countless articles claiming how much these delicious treats detract from our health, causing such horrors as high cholesterol, high blood pressure, obesity, even being linked to diabetes. Yet, as a whole, the American population has yet to take note of the problems the beef industry causes for the environment. And why should we? American beef only makes up 9.31% of the world's population, ranking fourth behind China, Brazil, and India. Yet, according to a recent article by Scientific American, meat production accounts for between 14% and 22% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions alone. That's to say nothing of the issues brought about by other problems in the cattle industry, such as deforestation. If we look at CO2 emission alone, we find that the cattle industry is one of the leading causes of global warming. While cattle itself doesn't directly create CO2, the production of milk and meat from these animals does require processes that do contribute to it. The burning of fuel to produce fertilizer to grow feed, Transporting said fuel and clearing the vegetation for grazing are all ways that the industry produces CO2. In order to make a quarter pound hamburger, as shown in the diagram, it takes 6.7 pounds of grain, 52.8 gallons of water, 75 square feet of land, and 1,036 British thermal units of fossil fuel energy. This, however, is just to create a quarter pound burger. The production of one pound of viable red meat takes four times the work and creates 36 pounds of CO2 as a consequence. Despite the fact that the cattle industry only owns 30% of the Earth's land, it produces 7.1 gigatons of CO2, representing 14.5% of all anthropogenic greenhouse gas emissions. With China's population rising, so too does its demand for meat meaning that the cattle industry is set to expand in the next few years. USDA projections show China's population is expected to grow at a slow rate of 0.3% annually. The urbanization rate has surpassed 50% and is expected to increase to over 63% by the 2023-2024 marketing year. USDA projects an increase in pork, poultry, and beef output of about 30 percent, meaning the cattle industry is going to produce more CO2 due to its demands, which are also expected to increase. That was just looking at CO2. Next we take a look at methane. Agriculture is responsible for producing 37 percent of global methane emissions, a gas that is 23 times more potent than CO2 when it comes to global warming. A good portion of this gas comes from the burps of ruminating animals, such as cows and sheep. 80% of the food they ingest comes out as waste or methane. The average cow produces between 300 and 500 liters of methane a day, most of it through belching. This totals up to a release of about 100 kilograms of methane per year for each cow, equivalent to about 2300 kilograms of CO2 per cow per year. In addition to the CO2 and methane emissions, livestock and the cattle industry are also responsible for emitting nitrous oxide, which has 296 times the global warming potential of CO2. Or put simply, one pound of nitrous oxide is almost 300 times that of one pound of carbon dioxide. Considering cattle are mammals, it's not surprising that they too deal with excretion. As a result, about 5% of emitted nitrous oxide arises from animal waste through the processes of nitrification and denitrification when being stored or treated. In addition, in order to maintain these livestock, the cattle industry must provide food, which in turn Use, are usually crops that have been pollinated with nitrogen-based fertilizers. Consequently, this also results in nitrification and denitrification in the soil and the release of nitrous oxide to the atmosphere, which, combined, 
accounts for 74% of all nitrous oxide emissions. The cattle industry also has a tremendous effect on deforestation. In Brazil, 75% of deforestation is caused by cattle ranching. Brazil is considered the leader in exporting cattle products, followed by Peru and Bolivia. The United States, Russia, and Japan make up 44% of beef importers, whereas China and Italy are importers of leather. It is expected that in 2018, the supply of leather will double. Today, the cattle ranching is responsible for 80% of deforestation. This deforestation releases 340 million tons of carbon into the atmosphere each year. At the end of the day, the cattle industry is on a path to destruction. Between the CO2 emissions, the methane emissions, the nitrous oxide emissions, and the deforestation, cattle is a huge contributor to global climate change, and the rates are only expected to rise. And yet, climate change? The global warming caused by the cattle industry to begin with is going to ruin the environments that the industry uses to raise the cattle in the first place. Certainly, there are some efforts being made, but they simply are not enough. So maybe, next time when you're wondering what to eat, perhaps you should skip the burger. Not just for your health, but for the planet's.